Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and I'm sure you are all wondering why this video has been re-uploaded. And that is because uh, when I did the first edit and the first posting, I failed to give proper credit to one of the designers of one of the parts. And that was, in fact, wrong of me, and I have no good excuse, actually. The part in question is the stock attachment. Uh, I provided the link previously, uh, and I now have the person's tag on there, but I didn't actually mention them by name because I didn't take the time to look it up. And that's on me. That was incredibly rude and inconsiderate of me. And uh, they deserve credit for their design. The designer was Flemdog Millionaire on Thingiverse. Uh, link and all of that is now in the, the, the description. Uh, and I apologize for not mentioning you before. So, on with the video. Welcome back. I am Captain Xavier, and I like all things modular. And today I'm showing off my Hammer Shot Carbine. At least that's what I'm calling it. This is a combination of a number of nifty features given to me by various people because I have awesome friends and awesome fans. Uh, the front end of the gun has the Gavin Fuzzy kit and cylinder that he recently sent me because he felt like it and because he's awesome. And the stock attachment point is from Thingiverse and was printed out by my friend Kit up in Renton who does the majority of my 3D printing for me uh, because he's awesome and has 3D printers and apparently too much time on his hands. And I have attached the stockade stock because I wanted the stock that held darts because this is a revolver and you need somewhere to store extra darts. So the kit for the Gavin Fuzzy I did in a previous video and he has beautiful print quality. The only thing that it doesn't have that I kind of wish it did was tack rail right here because I wanted to put my bayonet on it. But beggars cannot be choosers. Uh, and other than that it is absolutely gorgeous and I kind of actually like that he got rid of all the tack rail. I mean, aesthetically in general, because it gives it a much sleeker and more unified look. Um, you could, you know, put a scope on this because it's long-barreled and all of that, but you could also take this section off. It's not actually connected to the front half, so if you really want a tack rail, you could have it. Um, but I'm kind of tempted to have my friend Kit print me a section that I can then um, attach right here so I can attach my uh, uh, bayonet, but we'll see. Uh, and then the back portion here is a really neat design. It prints in two parts and then just is bolted around the sling point. Uh, I had to dremel it out a little bit. It wasn't a perfect fit uh, and a little bit of cleaning was necessary because it wasn't the uh, Thingiverse STLs aren't always amazing, but uh, they usually will work when you uh, put a little work into them. And then I had the right size bolts that were exactly the right length, just seated the nuts and or sunk the nuts and uh, then bolted it on and then the stock goes on upside down so that it rests better on your shoulder when it's um, uh, when you're holding it and uh, yeah it holds 10 darts very nice the cylinder fires 8 so you've got an area to top off darts as you're going and you can reload here as you're going and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I plan to run it in the war this weekend uh, along with a shield because this qualifies for the blasters that are allowed to be used with shields and I will have dart storage and uh, it's decent. It doesn't have a spring upgrade, it just has the Gavin Fuzzy uh, spacer in there but uh, that gives a significant uh, increase to performance in my opinion. I ran this in the last war and very much uh, was happy with the performance. So there you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comment section below and as always, thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs>